Hey, man. Hey, stat that kid. Errol Spence Jr. looking in phenomenal shape ahead of 2024, the holidays, and obviously the rematch. Terrence Crawford. That's what I want to talk about in this video. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Subscribe. It is free. Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ill, where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before or after progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. Now, I do not know the actual date of Errol Spence's fight, but we knew 2024 is about to be lit. Errol Spence Jr. took his first professional loss at the hands of that boy Bud, Terrence Crawford, earlier this year in July. It was not much to break down in terms of the fight. Errol Spence looked extremely like befuddled and bewildered. He had trouble in the second round even, or so early in the fight, he was dropped, and that's an early deficit. I mean, anytime you get dropped early, then you're really in an early deficit and you have to almost dig yourself out of a hole. It's doable. We've seen it with Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev, but definitely that's not what anyone would prefer. All in all, Errol Spence, you know, it's probably career worst performance since he lost because every other time, whether it was a title defense or whatnot, he kept everything together and won his fights as a pro. So you would have to say that was his worst night. He looked extremely flat, extremely flat. Don't know exactly what was going on, but I know what I've seen. And for me, it didn't really look like the Errol Spence that beat Danny Garcia, Kell Brook, or Ugas. That's my personal opinion. You know, credit to Terrence Crawford. I did pick against him. I thought Errol Spence would win, but he proved me wrong. But I'm not going to not address the elephant in the room. To me, it looked like Errol Spence, you know, for whatever reason, was a shell of his former self. I was at Devin Haney's last fight. Bill Haney says that his son is pound for pound number one. And how can we give credit to Terrence Crawford for being number one when he basically fought a weight drain depleted Errol Spence Jr. versus his son moved up to fight Regis Progre and fought him at his weight where he was a lethal puncher. Make sure you thumb up the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. And he's saying his son did the dang thing in a brand new division where Crawford, you know, had an excellent performance. However, was something wrong with Errol? And that, that was Bill Haney that said it. So it's obviously not just me who noticed that Errol Spence looked out of sorts. Nevertheless, Terrence Crawford won. He was undisputed for really a brief time. And then they stripped him of one of the belts and gave it to Jerron Boots Ennis. So... Terrence Crawford's been on record saying his next fight should be Errol Spence Jr. Contractually, he's owed a fight because Errol Spence was a champion, a unified champion, gave the opportunity to Terrence Crawford. So Crawford has to repay the favor contractually. And then Crawford says outside of that, he's looking for big money fights, like a guy like Canelo, a chance to be a three division undisputed champion. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. I will show you how Errol Spence is looking in a recent leaked picture. But first, a word from our sponsors. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Ego Weight Watchers continues. This picture that you see on the screen, Errol Spence was spotted and it was captured in this photo, Errol Spence Jr. He's rocking a tank top, and as you can see, he looks to be in good shape. You know, you gotta consider that we're days out from Christmas and the New Year's. So, like just people in general, not necessarily boxers, but people in general, sometimes they gorge 
and eat a lot during the holidays. A lot of people pick up pounds and gain weight during the holidays. You even hear fighters complain when they have a fight around the holidays and they complain like, oh, I didn't get to eat Thanksgiving. I didn't need to eat, get to eat ham for Christmas or whatever the case is. So at the end of the day, I am very happy to report that Errol Spence Jr. looks to be in great shape and he's going to need it because the first fight didn't go his way at all. And, you know, we know two losses in boxing could be devastating to the career path of a fighter. Errol Spence Jr., one thing that I got to give him a whole lot of credit about is he never stopped. Like, seemingly his worst night as a pro, he never stopped. Like, he never, he's a real dog. That's the only way I could put it. Because Crawford was beaming him with big shots landing. And Crawford is a formidable puncher with pinpoint accuracy, very agile, has speed. So the punches were coming with some thud and intensity and speed behind it and athleticism. And Errol Spence even, you know, complained to the referee when he was eventually stopped, when the referee said that's enough. And me personally, I think it was a rightful stoppage, but it just goes to show you the toughness and durability of Errol Spence. I tell you guys all the time on my channel, I'm a huge fan of underdog stories and I just love it. So I'm curious to see how Errol Spence Jr., how he conducts himself in the rematch because you have to look at the press conference for the first fight. Errol felt on top of the world, survived a wreck, a car wreck. He had a detached retina, came back, so he was feeling like Superman. So I'm really curious to see how he looks in this second fight and where his head is and where his mentality is. When a fighter takes a first pro loss, you never really know how they're going to look, you know? And I know that might sound extreme, but that's the reality of it. You look at Anthony Joshua when he lost to Andy Ruiz. A lot of people told him not to take the fight and he did it. And then he accomplished what he needed to. But Errol Spence is right to be in shape like it looks like he is right now because Terrence Crawford is a handful. And if Crawford has a say, he's going to look to repeat what already happened earlier this year in 2024 because Crawford he's it's no secret that he's basically saying that he's nearing the end of his career and retirement could be soon so he's looking for big opportunities he keeps calling out Canelo possibly Jermail Charlo I don't know how interested he is since Jermail lost to Canelo Alvarez but all in all he's wrapping up his career and he's on the last leg of his career and he wants those big paydays. So if he were to lose to Errol Spence, then obviously he's not going to get a Canelo fight and another big payday from that. So it is very important for both fighters for different reasons. Crawford looks sensational in the first fight. So it's imperative that to keep the gravy train and the undefeated record and legacy and a future fight with Canelo or whoever, big money fight. I hope boots if it's not going to be like a Canelo or maybe a Jermail Charlo or a Tim Zhu. But, you know, to keep that gravy train rolling, he's going to have to win. But for Errol Spence, it's a whole different ball game. He lost, and he lost abysmally, and he lost very, very convincingly. So it'll be interesting to see how Errol Spence, again, looks in a rematch. For me, again, it's just it's a shot in the dark. You never know. But I do like this first step of seeing Errol Spence. Again, I told you, I'm a big fan of underdog stories. So I like the fact that Errol Spence is in shape because if you guys remember, even me, I made videos about there were some clips that were leaking and circulating and they were saying that was Errol Spence. We later found out that they were reportedly older clips of Errol Spence where he was picking up a dog and people were saying that he didn't look like he was in the great shape. You know, he didn't look like he was in the best of shape. He looked kind of big. And there was mi miscellaneous pictures and videos floating around and people were saying he gained weight. But for me, looking at this photo, even though it's only one photo, it's not video from the eye test, he's definitely maintaining his weight. And the other interesting aspect, since we're talking about weight, is at what weight will this fight take place? The rematch. Will it be at 154? Will he have to break bread or give some of his purse to accommodate Terrence Crawford? Will they fight at 47 again? A lot of questions here. 
A lot of questions. The other thing that is highly, highly interesting to me is the first fight took place on Showtime. And it was a Showtime pay-per-view. But we now know Showtime has bowed out in the similar fashion to HBO. So they're not going to be around covering sports in 2024. So I'm really anxious for that reason as well to see where this fight lands. Yes, PBC did a deal with Amazon Prime. So will this be one of Amazon Prime's March fights or something around there? Or will it be on maybe some other network? Because there are some different theories in the industry that PBC could have other home, another home or another network, like a dual network situation like they did when they had Showtime and Fox, but they could have Amazon Prime and somebody else. So I guess we have to wait and see big things in store for 2024 in boxing, and I really can't wait. YouTube will now show you some videos that I've done that you may be interested in watching. Click those videos and hit the subscribe button. I got you covered. All your boxing needs. Great to see Errol Spence Jr. in shape. Ego Weight Watchers.